Hello there, and welcome back to The Chaps Guide, the channel where we talk about men's style, grooming, and self-development. And today, I'd like to talk about an item of your clothing, which is quite small, but has the potential to have a significant impact upon the way that you look. And that is, if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll know already, it's the lapel pin. Now, there are all different types of lapel pins, from a boutonniere, like I'm wearing here, to the very small enamel badges, which have a sort of clutch uh, fastening at the back. And, but that's the type that I'm generally talking about, the lapel pin. Anything that pins to your lapel, which has the purpose of communicating information to other people. So, why do people wear lapel pins? You'll see many people wearing them, some people don't bother at all. Well, the reasons I wear a lapel pin, and that's the only thing I can tell you, is that I add them because quite often they add a bit of colour. They add a little dash of colour to what can be a very boring outfit, such as a, you know, um, a charcoal grey suit or a navy suit with a plain shirt, whatever colour tie you're wearing, bit of a pocket swear, and that lapel pin just gives you that little opportunity to add something else. It alters the look, it breaks up the, the lines of your clothing and adds a little bit of interest to the people who meet you because it makes them look at you somewhat differently. Now the lapel pin shows an affiliation to quite often an association, a group, a body of people, membership of a club, whatever it may be. So that's really one of its main functions. It can be showing that you uh, support something, like support a charity. Um, they can be sold every year in the UK. They're sold during the annual uh, celebration of remembrance. So they sell little poppies, the Royal British Legion, to show that you're respectful and you have remembrance for the, the veterans and soldiers who have gone before us and made sacrifices. Um, they also demonstrate achievement, so they can be given in place of an award, so that you can show to the world that you've once won an award or reached a certain level of achievement or a long service award or something like that. These little badges, they can have a great deal of interest to the people that you meet. They add context to a situation, so if you're going to an event, say, which is organised by a charity, it may be highly appropriate to wear a badge in relation to that charity. I know, having visited many rotary clubs, that the gentlemen at the clubs all wear their little rotary symbols as well, just so that they can show affiliation to each other that they're a member of the club. Uh, and they show an attention to detail, which I think is highly important for the well-dressed gentleman. You know, it's, as I say, it's a, something else a little thing which adds a little bit more about you, your character and the fact that you are somebody who is well dialed in when it comes to the way that you dress. And they perform a fabulous um, conversation starter in many cases. It's a great thing for a first impression and I have an excellent example of that myself. So some time ago I applied to become a trustee of a charity and it involved having an interview with some of the other charity trustees to make sure that I was a suitable fit to join that uh, that leadership team. Uh, so they let me know who I would be meeting. So I did the old due diligence thing and I looked them up on LinkedIn and Googled them and I found that the person who would be chairing that interview board was in fact somebody who was um, a military reservist. He was an officer in the Army Reserve. So knowing that I decided to wear my military veterans badge. It's quite an obvious badge and anybody who is a veteran who's aware of, uh, of the military world will recognize it immediately as a badge which should only be worn by somebody who has served in Her Majesty's Armed Forces. So I chose to wear that badge to the interview. I had a whole host of badges I could have worn, but wearing that veteran's badge, I knew it would serve a purpose. And sure enough, when I went to that interview, the chair of the panel recognised my badge, and you know, his first question to me was, oh, I see that you've served in the military. What were you? Where did you serve? And immediately it leapt me forward many steps when it came to building a relationship and a camaraderie with those individuals. So just by you know, thinking about who you're going to meet and the tools in your box which are available to you, you can weaponize your style and the way that you dress to positive effect in your life. Now, when should you wear a lapel pin? Well, for me, it's when it's appropriate for the circumstances. 
as I've just described, going to a job interview. You know, you want to wear things which are, are appropriate. The worst thing in the world would be to wear inappropriate uh, Le Pen pins, so something which shows your affiliation to, um, I don't know, you know, the Mickey Mouse Supporters Club when you go into an important job interview. Pick the lapel pins which are going to be very useful for the situation you're going into. Curate a collection as I have here. As you can see, I've got a nice thick piece of cardboard and as the years have gone by, I've collected lapel pins relevant to my job, to the charities I've involved with, my hobbies and activities. And when I go to an event or meet people, having done what I've just described, you know, look them up, see who's going to be there, what's it all about, I choose a lapel pin which is appropriate for that circumstance. And it's a great way of, you know, just adding a bit of personalization to the way that you dress and the people that you meet. Uh, choose with care, you know, pick ones which are appropriate in colour to the rest of your ensemble. So, you know, you don't want to get um, clashing colours if you're wearing a green tie, you don't want to wear, you know, something which doesn't go with that as a lapel pin. So choose which match as well, it's a very interesting way of just considering your overall outfit. Uh, but always consider the context of the situation. So wear a lapel pin where it's appropriate only. Um, are there any rules really to wearing a lapel pin? Well, not as such. I mean, you know, always remember the overarching chap ethos of modesty, appropriateness and considered dressing, um, you know, and, and smart. There's no more than that. I think that the best lapel pins are small and discreet that are only just noticeable. You don't want these huge things which cover half of your lapel. It looks garish. It looks uh, like you have very little taste small lapel pins which just catch the eye and just break up the line of your suit is all you're really looking for. Uh, never more than one at a time I would suggest otherwise you stand the risk of you know looking a bit like a um, an international dictator full of medals and things like that so just pick one appropriate to the situation that you're heading for and that should be enough for you. Um, avoid wearing any form of tie pin at the most formal of events. They're certainly not appropriate to wear with a black tie or tuxedo uh, and you know events where it's going to be absolutely formal situations it's best to omit them from your suit or your jacket whatever you're going to be wearing uh, under those situations. Um, and, and as I say keep it Keep it honest, keep it straight, don't wear anything which is garish or would detract from you and your poise and bearing. Anything which would serve to lessen the impact that you make upon people, I would omit it. You know, they're quite some, um, quite large and colourful ones, they may not you know, meet every situation's needs, that's what I would say. Uh, and, and never wear any form of badge which you're not entitled to. So if it's a military badge, like a veteran's badge, even though it's quite attractive, if you're not a veteran, don't wear it because you're going to get caught out by people who ask you questions straight away. It could be embarrassing if you're not entitled to that, um, you know, five-year membership badge for the Mickey Mouse Supporters Club. So make sure that you're wearing appropriate badges for the situations that you find yourself in. And finally, think of the lapel pin as a bit of a blank canvas for, la for that lapel. You know, think of the lapel pin, something you can decorate it with. That lapel is there to be, uh, you know, uh, jazzed up, to be adorned with other things. As you can see, I mean, I like a boutonniere now and again. I very rarely wear a boutonniere. I think they're a little bit over the top. I wouldn't wear them to any form of business or more formal situation. I tend to wear them on my informal jacket as I am today, just a linen summer jacket. Doesn't bother me at all, you know, wearing a boutonniere here, but I would reserve this for those sort of situations. I would pick my lapel pins appropriate to the situation that I'm heading for. Uh, and as ever, when it comes to dressing, wear with confidence and context. You know, if you're gonna wear that lapel badge, own it, make it part of you, show it off, don't be ashamed or afraid of it, get out there and give it to the world and you won't go far wrong. Well, there we go. I hope my little primer on lapel pins has been of some help and use for you today. If you have found it so, please do us the good favor of giving us a thumbs up and clicking that subscribe button as well. That way you won't miss any of our future material and I look forward to seeing you again very soon, looking sharp and stylish with your lapel pin, and we'll see you soon.